mis amigos, I'm Jessica. And I'm Kaylee. We're both going to give you a brief overview of some of the fantastic views around Andalusia. From its many well-served beaches to renowned museos, we're going to give you a slight insight into Spain's most southern region. First off, Andalusia is located on the southern part of Spain. It's separated into eight different regions. Huelva, Sevilla, Cadiz, Malaga, Cordoba, Ayan, Granada, and Almeria. However, we'll only touch upon a few of these places. Also, there are four coasts. Costa de la Luz, or Coast of Light, Costa del Sol, or Coast of the Sun, Costa Tropical, and Costa Almeria, all in order from left to right. Now, let's start in Sevilla. Sevilla is the capital of Andalusia and is home to many tourist attractions, but they also retain their own culture in hand. One of these instances is their folk music, which is called Sevillanas. Oh, many are used in partnership with flamenco dancing, but it's just as nice to listen to. Sevillanas often depict a variety of themes such as the countryside life, towns, and just basically everything. However, Sevillana is descended from Castilian folk music, which is called Seguiria. Alrighty, hey! Right there's the Cathedral of Sevilla. It's rumored to be the largest Gothic cathedral in the world. It was a major trading center after the years of Reconquista, and has been repeatedly been rebuilt. Huh. You'd think it was enough after so many renovations. Actually, the dome kept collapsing. Uh, ah, and here's the tomb of Christopher Columbus. Okay, as much as I like to talk about collapsing domes and dead people, let's move on to, um, Malaga. Uh, Malaga is the second most populous city in Andalusia. And, hey, it even has its own... Uh, That's a cathedral, Jess. I know that. Anyhow, Malaga is right on, on the Costa del Sol, which means sun, sun, and more sun. But you can get these fantastic views of the city if you walk up this hill to the Gibralfaro Castillo. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, Malaga is also the name for this type of weather. Okay, Jess, now in Malaga, this is where the famous painter Pablo Picasso was born. There's also a museo, or museum, about him in both Barcelona and Malaga. But let's get to one last place before the end of the video. What? But that's one, two, three. We won't even get through half? I thought you said you wanted to get to the flamenco part. Oh, that, um, well, <sighs> fine, where to? I think that we should go to El Maria. This city was founded around 955 AD. Because of its location, it was supposed to be a principal harbor. Here, we see the Alcazaba, which is the second largest Moorish castle in Andalusia. Almeria experienced many sieges, though. However, in the Spanish Civil War, it and Malaga were the last Andalusian cities to surrender to Francisco Franco's nationalist forces. Oh, and here is a renowned flamenco guitar player, Tomatito. Tomatito was discovered by another guitarist named Paco de Lucia, and the two paired with a singer. Germán de la Isa, who died in 1992. Yeah, anyhow, that's the end of that. But this is such a short video. It's a shame we didn't cover all of it, right? What? What do you mean we're ending? We are so not ending this until I say so. I didn't even get my own monologue. This isn't the end. Are you even listening to me? Don't listen to her and just check out the rest of Andalusia for yourself. And now, the credits. Wait!